Cracking YouTube, Jobber here, and I have the newest special editions that have uh, just came out. The Movies Pack Secret Edition, The Dark Side of Dimensions. So you probably saw these being opened up here on Cyber Night, Simple Unlock, everywhere else. And I believe it was 2018. So what they basically did in here is they have it so you have six ultra rares. And the rest are secret rare. So there's a, just, a, 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 just an awesome bunch of different kinds of secret rares in here. I haven't seen a single one of them up close. So I don't know if they used like that new... Oh my gosh, what do they call it? It's not actually... We adopted Prismatic Secret Rare. And the Konami just came out. They just renamed it. But I, I, I forgot what it's called. But we'll check it out. We'll see what kind of awesome secret rares we'll pull. We have an entire display box here. So it's 10 special editions in total. You know, healthy. It's kind of like how I used the on the on the thumbnail here. Took them out of here so I can have them all out, ready to go for you guys. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe bell, and follow me on Instagram. I have a link in the description down below. And if this video reaches 800 likes, I will be giving away a booster box of the most recent set, and I'll announce the winner in the comments of the next video, which will be this Friday. And I post it at 5:30. Uh, standard pacific time i've been trying to post a uh, video every monday wednesday and friday i understand this video right here is going up a little bit late <coughs> but i had to get it you know be able to do the the whole opening and then get it all edited and then post it up here for you guys so that's the reason why i went up a little bit late and this product just dropped so i am really excited about popping these things open and without any further ado let's get cracking all right so they got some really cool fan favorite cards in here. You got like uh, Dark Magician, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then, uh, of course, we have Obelisk and Sly for the Sky Dragon. So there's some really cool stuff in here. And again, there is just a going to be a bunch of different kinds of secret rares. And I am super excited about checking those out because I have yet to see one. I know this. Uh, these things just came out too. So that probably has a, <laughs> a lot to do with that, honestly. All right. Let's go see what variant cards they ended up giving us today. So we got uh, Dooza, the Dark Magician, and the Dark Magician. I really like the. I really like this art of the Dark Magician, honestly. So this is probably my my all time favorite art of Dark Magician, and my all time favorite art of the Blue Eyes White Dragon was the one that came out of the original Show and Jump magazine years ago, where he's out basically out in outer space, looking down at the world. Really, really cool. Then we have our Sly for the Sky Dragon there. Very cool. Okay, well, let's see what our three booster packs have. So they have uh, five cards per pack. So I'm I'm thinking how they did it is they're going to be like four secret rares and then one ultra rare per pack. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. And we'll find out right now. So we got that Deep Eyes White Dragon, and it is a absolutely gorgeous looking card secret rare. Yeah, it's just, it's just a standard secret rare. And secret rare is honestly one of my all-time favorite rarities. What is your favorite rarity? Post a comment down below, let me know. There's a lot of really cool ones out there. I really like uh, ult I really like ultimate rares a lot too, honestly. <laughs> Huge fan. Beautiful. We got their uh, Berry Magician Girl secret rare. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So we ended up... Uh, having our five cards being all secret rare. So we have an all secret rare booster pack here, which is really cool. Um, so we're not guaranteed an ultra in every single pack. So that is a, that's also something that we just, that we just found out together there. Well, let's see. So they're going, at least that's what I was noticing when I was doing a little bit of research on here. So I'm assuming there's gonna be ultras. Maybe every single card in here is just secret. Maybe I was looking at uh, an older thing. That's kind of cool. So if every single card secret, there'll be five secrets per pack, which is really neat. So we have this beautiful art of the Dark Magician Girl. <sighs> I don't know. I want to say this is my this is my favorite art of Dark Magician Girl too. Really, really beautiful. I, I the secret rare on this card is just gorgeous, and with the heart around it and everything, it's just really, really neat. I like that a lot. And we got our Celtic Guardian. Well. Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, these cards look absolutely beautiful. Secret Rare. So we got the Dimension Mirage there. Oh, the name's a little bit... <laughs> sitting a little low on that one. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I've been noticing that a little bit more when... Uh, now since I'm getting into that whole trying to get things graded thing. Noticing where things are positioned. I never noticed that stuff before. So what do we have? The Chocolate Magician Girl. Very, very cool. That is beautiful. All right, so we have one special edition down. Nine more to go. And let's see. 
So I'm assuming that the alternative blue eyes white dragon. Oh, nice! We ended up getting the, the Obelisk Tormentor. The very first showing they ever had of this Obelisk Tormentor was for the movie. So uh, they gave away this with your ticket, and it was a cool little like uh, parallel rare. We got the blue eyes white dragon there, of course. Very cool. It's nice they put them together there. Obelisk and blue eyes white dragon kind of go together since uh, they're they're essentially Kaiba cards. Yeah, so that's what it's looking like. So whatever I was reading, must have been reading something that was in the past. Because uh, <laughs> it looks like every card that we're getting here is Secret Rare. And oh my gosh, Chaos Form Secret Rare looks absolutely beautiful. I've only been seeing this card as an Ultra Rare. And as an Ultra Rare, it's kind of like, eh, I don't know. And some cards, you know, when they look, when they're Ultra, they look really nice. So that Chaos Form as an Ultra Rare is kind of like, not that great. Secret Rare? absolutely gorgeous wow what a beautiful looking card that is cool oh secret rare blue eyes white dragon i love how all these are first edition as well so that's always a nice little perk but what a beautiful looking card there wow gorgeous the kiwi magician girl lord gaia the fierce knight Counter gate. That's our secret right there. Yeah, oh cool. <laughs> what an exciting thing. Opening up booster packs and every single card's gonna be a secret rare. Normally when I'm opening up these old classic sets with you guys, we're trying to chase after one in an entire booster box. And this and these packs have one per pack. How crazy. I mean one oh every single card to five per pack. What am I what am I even saying? So the silver gadget here, that was a ultra rare, and now it is a secret rare, and it looked really, really pretty as a secret rare as well. Very cool. <laughs> this card here for whatever reason like jumped out at me. It looked like a Pokemon card. <laughs> or yeah, <laughs> something I've seen before. Uh, the Kaiser Vorse Raider there, secret rare. Very cool. And to our third special edition. I don't know if you guys have been following into the, any of the news, but it looks like our, our new core set, we're gonna be having a sneak preview, or sneak peek, it'll be our last sneak peek, actually, and then they're gonna be called, uh, I believe, sneak previews, or just previews, preview event, something like that. But uh, yeah, it looks like they are going to be removing rares from our booster pack, so that's gonna be, that's gonna be a little bit interesting. I don't know if they're gonna be officially just removing rares forever from all core sets, but yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. They probably did some kind of like voting system and probably people's least favorite was rare. So they're just like, all right, well, uh, we'll just stick with the foils and commons then. Which honestly, I'm sure that most of you are okay with. And what do we have here? Ooh, that's cool. Very pretty. I really like the art of these these booster packs here. With the, it looks like just uh, it's Yugi, and there's not very many sets out there that they release where they actually just show Yugi and not the Pharaoh. They really uh, always show seem to showcase the Pharaoh more or less than Yugi himself. <laughs> Silver gadget. It was uh, one of my all time favorite episodes was Yugi versus the Pharaoh. That was really neat. I watched that. Uh, I watched that and was a Japanese way back in the day when it first came out. That was very, very cool. If you haven't seen that, you got to watch, watch that. That is probably one of the most epic duels that the, the series or one of the shows, it's a movie show has ever had. So <laughs> you guys should check that out for sure. So definitely the Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon is... Trying to hide itself right now. Nice. So the secret rare Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Check that out. Obviously one of the fan favorite cards of the series. Very, very cool. I'm personally one of my favorites as well. So whenever they say fan favorite sets, I've always been a big fan. I love sets that have elemental heroes and all that stuff as well. So I am a sucker for that. All right. Yeah, it is really, really nice. These are beautiful looking. There it is. So this is probably 
Uh, they're saying they're not going to be short printing cards. I'm assuming that this, th these things are still short printed. Um, so the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon is going to be probably the, the money card. I'm going to say confidently with 99.9% .9 certainty, this is going to be the, the money card that we were uh, chasing after here. And it is an absolutely gorgeous looking card. Uh, as an ultra rare, they were... They're fluctuating around the $20, $25 range. I obviously don't know the price of these since they are, just came out. I haven't looked. So, yeah, very, very cool. And, wow, so our booster pack here is actually stacked. So we have Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Then we have the K the, we have the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon in there, Seeker Rare. Those, are, those two cards out there are probably going to be the more some of the more valuable cards in here, definitely. So that was just a stacked booster pack. I actually really, really love the way this card looks. That's beautiful. Oh, nice. Another Dark Magician Girl Secret Rare. Beautiful looking card. Wow. I'm going to have to give that give one of those copies over to my buddy. So my friend Paul, who um, if you are one of the people that have kind of followed my channel since the beginning, he was in some of my very, very early, like massive, you know, whatever booster pack openings that I would do. And I'd open up a bunch of cases of stuff. And he collects all the Magician cards. So, and mostly the Dark Magicians, but of course I like to give them the Dark Magician girls as well. And he has one of every Dark Magician that is, I think has been printed so far. I've tried to, I try to give him one of each. So that is, <laughs> that's been, he has a pretty cool collection of that. Maybe one of these days, if I, if I feel that it's actually uh, official that we have every copy of the Dark Magician in there, I'll do a video on it and then I can be critiqued by you guys letting me know that if there's any Dark Magicians that I've missed, but I'm sure there's some out there in different kind of uh, rarities and stuff. I'm trying to get even the ones from like OCG as well for him. So that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Uh, dark Magic Veil. Pay a thousand life points special summon one dark spellcaster monster from your hand or graveyard. That is an amazing card. I love I love the ability of cards when they have, uh, I mean, the ability to be able to activate it and it's just never dead. Like, say you don't have one in your graveyard. You just need to get some field present to get that card, get, get that dark position from your hand onto the field. I love that. I love that toolbox ability. And then with that new trap card, basically, you can tribute off for a dark magician to special summon a dark, or dark magician girl, whatever. It's And it's basically like a continuous negation where you tribute off a dark magician or dark magician girl to special summon and then you tribute and then you special summon one of the others so for an example uh say you activate pot of avarice i activate the trap card i tribute off my dark magician on my side of the field i negate it that special summon a dark magician girl i believe it was from my graveyard or my hand very cool i really like that about these magician effects how they make it so you can them from either or you know I like that a lot it adds a lot of versatility to two cards when you're playing because that kind of stuff as silly as it is, and you're like, okay, out of, you know, 10 duels, that'll never come up. But if you're playing in a, long, in a large tournament, that stuff does come up. It is very, very important that you know the full effects of your cards. I don't know how many times I've I've played. I mean, I played Mermel for the first time at when it first came out. My buddy said, hey, you need to enter into the tournament. He's like, but you can't look at the decks. Puts a deck box down. So I'm playing, I end up playing Mermel's. I play, I play all the way into top eight, not not realizing the effect, the full effects of a few of the Mermel cards. And he's like, you know, you can do this, right? After my one duel was over, I was like, oh my gosh! And it was crazy. That deck was so powerful. The blue eyes, white dragon, is gorgeous. The deck was so powerful that I played in. It was a big locals. I want to say it was about forty-five or fifty people in it, and I ended up winning the entire locals playing Mermel for the very first time. <laughs> just just reading as I go. So I had to ask my first two rounds to be patient with me as I as I read my cards, <laughs> try to figure it out because I I never played it. It was a new deck, so that was very cool, very very powerful deck, Mermel deck back in the day. That was for sure. And I think Water Monster just in general is like that. That whole deck was just foil, you know. So I think a lot of cards like that, they just look really, really pretty in their secret. And I think water, especially, like if you ever seen uh, ritual like Necros, they look beautiful because like that blue in the secret. And especially when you have like ritual monsters in their ult ultimate rare. Oh my gosh, they just look gorgeous. Huge fan of that. So so far, as you guys have been able to see, we uh, we've only pulled the one blue eyes alternative white dragon here seeker and then that one chaos max so you can tell those are pretty difficult cards to be able to pull including that one dark magician seeker rare that was basically like monster or born or you can special summon one from your hand which is an amazing card and i'm sure it's going to be seeing some play 
and the new Dark Magician builds and whatnot moving forward. I think that deck is going to be a, definitely a fan favorite and could be a contender going into going into the formats and stuff, especially since uh, the Master Rule is not into effect. And I think that I kind of placed that deck's favor, honestly, since it's not really going to be going much into the extra deck all that often anyway. So, and I can put big monsters on the field like Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, for example. <laughs> a very beautiful card right here. Wow. Magician's Defense. And a Chocolate Magician Girl again. I like those Magician Girls. They look really cool. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, they mix these ones up on here. They're basically almost an order every time. We have, would have the dark, we get the dark magician and then Slifer in the same one. <laughs> this one that was a little bit more of a variety in there. That's kind of cool. I know they would, they were uh, mixing them. I thought they were just all going to be in that same kind of order. Very cool. You know what the ultra I probably was thinking about was the ones in the promo pack that I was <laughs> glancing at. So we have a blue eyes white dragon seeker and another silver gadget, another chocolate magician girl. And then we have this blade cubic beast. Very cool. Let's see if we can pull another blue eyes alternative white dragon. So we have our gold gadget here. Very cool. I was a huge fan. Oh, nice. Right on. Our last card here. We have blue, another blue eyes alternative white dragon. Nice. When we get two of them, it would be obviously ideal if we were able to pull a playset out of our box because that card is a, definitely a three of when you want to play that in your blue eyes decks oh you blue eyes fans oh and then the next booster pack a blue eyes chaos max dragon nice we have two of two of each of those so far and we have we still have a couple two special discs. i thought we were down to our last one here so we still have a chance to pull, to pull a play set of each of those Hopefully in this one we'll pull that magician card because that one right there was a was a has seems to be a difficult one to uh, get, get a hold of and that ability is just amazing to having a monster reborn ability and then on top of that if you just need to be able to get a dark magician from your hand onto the field especially with the new dark magician support like I was saying be able to just have your your continuous negation trap card active and it's just a, it's literally a continuous trap so you haven't seen it really cool. And trip it off one and special summon the other. So you can't special. So if you trip it off uh, a dark magician, you can't special summon a dark magician from your another uh, chaos form there. You can't special summon dark magician. You have to special summon either or. So you trip it off dark magician girl. You special summon a dark magician. Trip it off dark magician. Special summon dark magician girl. So it's pretty cool. And I like how they. I like how they did that. They made it. They made it fair and the card's very good. <laughs> The Kiwi Magician Girl there, very cool. All right, and then we're on to our last special edition, everybody. Let's see what we get out of here. Maybe this one will be the, the special edition of all special editions to have the Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, that Magician card, and then a Chaos Max. That would be absolutely insane. All right, let's see. If we have a little bit of luck on our side here. Oh, nice! Oh my gosh, there it is, right in the right in the gate, right off the gate. Dark Magician Veil there. Wow, that is awesome. Cool. So we end up getting two of those so far. We still have a chance. Wow, the lemon. You have the lemon magician girl, the apple magician girl, and then the berry magician girl, all in the same pack. What are the odds of that? Oh my gosh, check that out. That is definitely a first of. Oh my gosh, how cool beautiful looking all right so we're down to our last booster pack here let's see if we can pull a place out of all three of those cards another one of those magician cards would be awesome i don't know if that's gonna happen in here but maybe we can get a blue eyes alternative and a chaos max in the same pack <laughs> we did it once let's see if we can do it again all right so we have our deep eyes white dragon we have our final gaze. Oh my gosh, we did it! Our our last booster pack of blue eyes alternative white dragon. Oh! Wow, we just pulled a play set of each. Our last booster pack. Wow, that is insane. 
what are the odds of that even happening? We call it, you're positive, and it happens. We're going to pull in a playset of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon and then a Blue Eyes Chaos Mac Dragon. We pull a playset of each in here. Wow, that is so crazy. Oh my gosh, talking about the best booster pack of fate right there. Wow, <laughs> that is so nuts. Dang. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I absolutely love these sets. These are definitely like fan favorite sets. And it's just, and for me personally, if you guys want to go down and go purchase these, you're asking like, hey, Jobber, should I buy this? I think so. I think it's really cool. These special editions, you get some really, really cool foils. I mean, look at this big stack of foils that we ended up getting. And if you're starting up, you want to have a nice little collection binder. I mean, boom, you have it right there. You got some stuff to be able to trade to people. There's a lot of just really cool cards. Even if you don't want to trade, you just want to collect them just to be able to have. So I really, really enjoy these. I think these secret rares look absolutely gorgeous. And that is my personal opinion and review on these. I think they look beautiful. I am a huge fan of secret rares, as you guys can probably tell. And that last booster pack was absolutely insane. And remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, bell, and follow me on Instagram. I'll have a link in the description down below. And comment down below, let me know what you guys thought about the video. And you know, just like what your favorite card was and whatnot. I always like to hear from you guys. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll announce a winner in the comments of our next video if this video reaches 800 likes. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again. Jobber here is signing out.